Hey everyone. Hey guys, welcome to Obscure MCU. In this episode, I'll be covering the Guardians of the Galaxy's iconic first ship. This is the Milano. Once abducted from Earth at a young age and brought into the Ravagers, Peter Quill's mentor Yondu gifted him his own M-Class ship from the Ravager fleet. An M-Class spaceship is a type of spacecraft, most commonly used by the Ravagers for scouting, dogfighting, light transportation, and other criminal activities. Peter would give his ship the name the Milano, based on the actress Elisa Milano, who Peter had a huge crush on as a kid. Peter heavily modified his M ship, personalizing it with his belongings and customizing the living quarters to his liking. The lower level featured a common area with a table and seats, a weapons rack, and an interactive holographic star map for navigation, keeping tabs on the ship's fuel levels and ammunition, and communication, primarily with other Ravagers. Across the lower deck were his sleeping quarters, equipped with a handcrafted tape deck integrated into the ship's sound system. And an emergency escape hatch for quick exits. Ascending a small set of stairs from the common area led directly to the ship's flight deck. The flight deck accommodated a crew of five, furnished with retro-style seating and an array of control panels, throttle levers, flight controls, and navigation consoles. The Milano's exterior was covered with a vibrant and eye-catching paint job, featuring a unique blue and orange color scheme that sets it apart from conventional M-Class spacecraft. The ship boasts a state-of-the-art quad-engine propulsion system, featuring two sets of four high-performance engines strategically arranged along its sleek hull. These cutting-edge quad engines, along with the central exhaust port situated at the rear of the ship, work in harmony to propel the Milano through the vastness of space. The quad engines generate immense thrust, providing the ship with unparalleled speed and agility, while the central exhaust port serves as the focal point for expelling the exhaust gases generated by the engines. This advanced propulsion setup not only ensures swift and efficient travel but also grants the Milano the agility needed to navigate treacherous asteroid fields and engage in intense space combat scenarios. Additionally, the Milano was armed with twin blaster systems, strategically positioned along its hull for offensive capabilities. Although the Milano was destroyed in the Battle of Xandar, the Nova Corps rebuilt it as a gesture of gratitude for the Guardian's heroic actions. The team continued to utilize the ship for several months until they ultimately left it behind after crash landing on the planet Burhurt. What's your favorite ship in the MCU? Let me know in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Hey, uh, 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 Barit. Look, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I forgot you're here.